what happens when you look at a script for a film versus when you're reading mm. Pinter? Well, I think, you know, when someone like, like Loki, um, he, he, you know, Stan Lee um, borrowed those characters from classical myth. They, they are part of the Norse pantheon. Those, well, there is something deeply Shakespearean yes, about and, those pieces. And, and I think he knew that, too. I mean, I think even in those early print editions of the Thor comics, you know, he, he has Thor and Loki speaking in this kind of old, um, almost Shakespearean dialect. Uh, but when you're stepping into the shoes of a character who's been around in the collective consciousness for over 2,000 years, um, you know, characters like Thor and Loki, you're stepping into something with, with sort of gravitas before you've even arrived. So you have to engage with that. You know, if you're going to play the god of something, in this case, the god of mischief, um, there's a there's a weight to that. Um, but also, I think, with the night manager, a writer like John le Carre writes in quite a classical way. He sees... Um, there's a... Especially that particular character I played, that he has a kind of classical nobility to him, um, uh, which is challenged time and time and time again. He's tried to be seduced by the dark side. And there is something classical about that this this war between the good and and the bad within him you know that's those are parts of classical stories being tempted by the other side um so may, maybe it's just the way i've read things maybe it's my um my background in it you know how i was educated the books i the, the things i studied the books i read my degree i don't know have you started to actually let me rephrase that what is in your little mental catalog of characters you're hoping to play as you get older <laughs> I'm very because there are a couple I'd love to see down mm. the line but uh, you know I'd love to see you take on more of the American classical writers I mean obviously you've done Williams mm. um, but like who who are you I mean have you done much Ibsen I haven't no I, I these are these are also Ibsen those the great sort of uh, Scandinavian writers um, Strindberg, I think, wrote some extraordinary plays. Um, and as you said, the great Americans, Miller, I have, I've always been fascinated by Arthur Miller. I think, I think I've had very profound experiences in the theatre watching other people mm. in those plays. Um, I, I'm always very, I feel very careful about, uh, I feel quite lucky to have done what I've done. So it, I never want to jinx it by, um, by writing the wish list too loudly. Um, but I would, I think I, I would be very grateful if I was able to continue down the Shakespearean sort of path. There are some parts for the for an older an older man that I hope I get a, a crack at one day. Um, I think there's there's something um, playing playing in those big plays, which are so profoundly about the most complex aspects of being alive. They change you as you as you go through as I go through my life I feel mm. um, because you have to uh, I have to align myself with his on with his mind and he had one of the most extraordinary minds that has ever been um, and so you inhabit the shapes of his thoughts and the shapes of his writing um, it sounds um, it probably sounds pretentious but some of these big parts like Coriolanus or Hamlet they slightly change you on a chemical level